restart? Can we really go back? Does God really want to take us back? I mean, I don't know about you, but there's been so many times where I haven't talked to God. I haven't prayed. I haven't, I've forgotten to. You know, and I wonder, will, will this year look any different than last? Will my relationship with God look any different than last year? Can I really have a chance, a new beginning? And does God really offer us a chance to, to start again? Well, the answer, in short, is yes. God does want to take us back. In Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23, it reads, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord wants us to give, to give us a new start this year. But he also wants to start every day anew. Every day. He offers us that. And he says, here you go. Here's a brand new day. Would you, today, would you start again? Pray, talk to me. The writer of Lamentations here is saying that, you know what, God's love is a steadfast love. It's an enduring love. It's a, it's a love that, that can begin again every day and is there when we wake up and it's there when we lie down. Anytime we can go and He is waiting for us, His steadfast love endures forever. His steadfast love and fresh daily mercies are there for us, which brings us to the prayer emphasis for this day one. It's adoration. The definition of adoration is a deep love and respect, a worship and veneration. In other words, adoration is giving to God praise and worship. You might say that it's adoring Him. You know, Jesus in His example prayer to us began His prayer this way. He said, Our Father in heaven hallowed be your name. You see, he addresses God as his father and then immediately adores him and gives him adoration. He says, I declare my father to be holy. And isn't that what we should do? We should declare our adoration for God by adoring him in our prayer. So what does your prayer for adoration look like? How will you adore God today?